What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Floppy Sword, and this is The Invincible. It's a demo that you can download on Steam to check it out yourself. The game comes out in 2023. Rethink human, Human's Dominion in The Invincible, a story-driven adventure set in a hard sci-fi world by Stanislaw Lem. Discover planet Regis 3 as scientist Yasna. Use atom punk tools looking for a missing crew and face unforeseen threats. Make choices in a philosophical story that's driven by science. Comes out this year, developed by Starwood, Star Ward Industries. It's uh, listed single player as an indie action adventure. All right, let's start a new game here. All right, let's load this up, baby. The graphics look absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is the demo, yada yada. So this is a piece of the main game later on in the game. It's not the beginning of the story. You might get spoilers. If you're not interested in seeing them, please dip out now. All right, let's see. All right, let's set up the story a little bit. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads toward the ravine following the convoy. She's getting closer, so needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her Astro Gator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place, Regis 3. All right, let's load into the planet here. So yeah, this is a little bit different for me. I usually play like survival kind of stuff, so I thought we'd branch out a little bit. And this one looks great. Look at the graphics here. So there's the, the demo area. We'll stay into this area here. Beautiful planet. All right, let's check out. We have a path here. We want to plan your route to the convoy. So we'll click, ahead click leads here. Straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? Well, there's a side path here. I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, then. It's your call, Yasmin. So I'll take the path leading to the convoy, or a little precaution can't hurt. All right. I'll try to get there via the side path. Might as well. I don't want to be boring. I'll unequip this. Let's head down to our little rover thing, whatever this thing is. This is a cool little view. Uh, like, I would drive this on Earth. Like, tell me, like, Chevy came out with this vehicle. You wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Look how awesome that thing is. It's so stupid looking. I would buy the hell out of it. Definitely looks like a floppy sword vehicle. Okay, so we got to take this side path and if you look at the map it was a pretty sharp turn here let me see if I can find where it's at it's hard to see out this window where is it oh is that it right there can I drive this thing up there or what side path Looks pretty taut. That's a taut looking path. Let's head up, see if we can get up here. I feel like we're gonna get stuck. What, am I supposed to walk this? What the hell? Yeah, it looks like a blocked path. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Going this way. Is there like a path right there? All right, let's head this way. Oh, I'm feeling tired. This is tiring me out. Well, this is definitely more interesting than just driving down the road. <laughs> what if we'll find anything on the side path? Interesting pillars. Look at that thing. 
Reminds me of like, you know, in uh, Greece and stuff, they make like the, uh, the gyros and stuff. They slice the meat off. Okay, which way am I going here? Let me just check down here quick. Doesn't look like something's going on here. There's not. This is a pretty awesome world, man. Look at this. This is great. Okay. Hello? Let's fit through here. Reminds me of that movie with James Franco, you know, when the rock fell on him, the true story. And it cut his own arm off or whatever. Hold space. The radiation level has increased. The radiation level is <clears throat> rising rapidly. Yes, now be careful. The radiation. And other people. Just watch yourself. Where am I? Okay, this is the side piece. Like a cave here. Should we go in? Oops. As always, Astrogator. As always. Uh, hole right there. I found a way to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Circular. Precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Although curious might not be quite the right word. Alright, let's go into this planet's butthole. It's a little dry in here, huh? Oh, shit. Jeez. Yes, I am. Oh shit! What is this? Close. <clears throat> At least one. That's not a soul. I don't see anyone. What the hell is this device? Position. Okay. Is there like a doggy style in there? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, what's this? Oh shit! Oh no. Astrogator. Her debt. So you found someone. Hold space. I had a feeling it might end like this. I wasn't expecting to find this. <clears throat> I didn't let that fool get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place. Not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Journal updated. Search the convoys there. Okay. Peoples. So what's all this? Robots? Vehicles? People. Okay. Abandoned antimat? Found the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Where's the... Wait, this is in the journal, is it? Where, what's my journal button? Whatever. I won't get anything out of the other end. Jay doesn't work. It's completely busted, to put it mildly. Okay, so we probably want to do this one. Recorder cover. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimat's recorder. Are you gonna... Are you gonna... What am I doing? I don't know what I'm... Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> I was clicking stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I just did. Okay. Okay, push the button. Good. Register. Okay. We have here? Were preparing Com comic book? Departure. Convoy's heading somewhere. Isn't that what a convoy is? I'm getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. Into the butthole? <gasps> They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How oh, subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. 
in that ominous tunnel. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Oh, there's more clickable Next stuff. Slide. People I rushing out of the tunnel, yeah. running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether we should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asna. Uh, I missed the option. Has fired straight into the tunnel. What the hell? And what happened next? There's nothing else. Only panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate instead of protecting. What happens next? So it turned on them? <clears throat> Got reprogrammed or what? The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Oh my god, his arm. Looks juicy. Shooting them. Oh god. One by one. Look at the hole. A horrifying it's sight. Horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. I want hazard pay. Such weapons should be banned. This mission is getting better and better. Ban this mission. <laughs> I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. That's not the re reaction I thought I selected. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. We got ourselves a hiding from it made no difference. A rat. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Hmm. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. Killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh fuck! Yes, no. Uh, it's nothing. It took a picture. Of, it took a picture of me. There we go. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell! So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. What is this? All, what is this what game? About that tunnel? Oh, right. Is this like a like propaganda against the AI movement right now or something? What the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> or is it just part of the story? The way they're talking comes off a little weird to me. I'll go check it out. Alright. So? Fuck it. Let's do it. I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. Check the place behind the tunnel, okay. <laughs> Journal tab. I don't know what I'm updating. I think it's circling people, maybe? Some... Hello? Is there death in here? I hear some noise. I hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Something still active. Take your time, yes, sir. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. It's not like this hole's getting pounded. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Huh. Carrying something. Yes, 
Come on, tough. Over. Copy that. Ah. Uh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasta. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. The hell is this? Is metal There's bushes? There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Okay. Remember, this isn't the beginning of the story, right? So, all this would have been kind of covered in the game. Let's see anything here. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the alliance came to pick this guy. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? A flat ass too. Boxes. It took one, but never left. If I may ever make a robot, they're... it's not gonna have a flat it ass. Circles, using the same embarrassing. Box. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. <laughs> Alright, search the location. Alright, see if it opened up any options over here. Oh, here we go. What's the map looking like? A little dark. Hello? Uh, zoom, okay. Metal wall. I think that crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Let's do it. Oh shit. Found another one. Can I jump? Oh. We updated that. Okay, now can I jump? are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Bushes. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Metal so bushes. That's kind of cool. I've never heard of something like that. And there are plenty of them, as I understand. Appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Holy shit, take a breath. It's so loud. I would love to. I'm trying to give her. Okay, whatever. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal. Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. The hell? Like structures underneath. Underground connections. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's it looks like two generations. One, old dead, a relic. Second, these bushes all grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive. We can't rule us out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Well, how else would it be made, man? That thing is not alive, Doctor. Oh, 
Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Shit! I can't handle it anymore. I need to see some kind of weird alien or something. Besides this guy. Is he leaving? Follow the Arctan. Alright, trying to get up. That heart is like shaking my headset. <laughs> the robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, it must have done something. Never mind. We're we'll trying to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. Pretty good gameplay. I'm I'm still jury still out on the story itself. I am in, a little bit intrigued. It's unique, that's for sure. I haven't... The metal uh, objects and the... Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh. The robot. No, no, the anti-mat. Do I hide? No. Oh my god. Yes, sir. You alive? Where am I supposed to go here? Destroy the robot. What are you doing now? Hi. Oh, no. Thank you for your support, sir. I probe won't help me at this time. Please take. Thank you for your support. <laughs> I was trying to get to the other the hole, maybe, or something. I didn't know where to go. Yes, sir. Stay calm. Who will come? No. Don't die on me now. Begging you. Don't give up. You can't. successful mission. Are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. The fuck just mm, happened? I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Uh, Merit can't forgive you either. Merit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. What just happened? Does he have control over this thing? Heavily on my mind. Or you can stop it? I'm confused. So, I wasn't really listening what do to him, we though. Do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Check out the rest of the convoy. Get some more pictures here. Are these the same ones from before or what? Oh, did it just shoot these out? All right, let's get out of here. Uh, head over to the wrecked robot. For now, you can forget about the Are those his legs? Material. The only <laughs> thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Find the rover. It's right here. 
Actually, it's right in front of me. Listen to the radio recordings. What's this? All right. Can I get down here? Looks pretty sandy. Never mind. Dude got messed up. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. What's this? Radar. I, I don't understand. What am I supposed to be listening to? The sound's on. The whole thing is on. The radar is running here, which we didn't even need, but let's leave it on anyway. And we have the channels here. So which one? Hello? Adele starts blasting on the radio. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I don't understand. No, not not that one. Number two is base. Okay, I'm just playing with buttons like I'm in a waiting in a, a doctor's office. What is this? Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable. So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. How do I Hello skip ahead? Uh, th there's more. Okay. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated, and this is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. <laughs> Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge, black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Jesus Christ. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla, what's going on? 
Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. All right, let's do it. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. I mean, that's the pretty messed up. They must be dangerous as well. But I'd like to go see them now. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Wouldn't that be like day one What's in the class that you take to train to be one of these people? It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is hey, so memory loss. The human organism continues I sure do talk a lot, don't I? Money. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable, like a baby, they don't understand the you've, world around them. You have great posture. Can such a person learn the world anew? Sorry, things worked out this way. Baby theory, uh, yes, I want to believe it's possible. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. I need to get out of this thing. Hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out. It looks like a horde in Days Gone. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Okay, let's check in here, see what's going on. Pretty slow moving game. Um, if you like this, you could probably, you know, when it comes out, turn it on in the evening, sink into it, have a drink, relax. I'm stuck on the stairs. It's basically a movie. You're basically, it's an engaging movie, I guess. The door to the cargo bay has budged oh, a little God. bit. It won't open fully. Oh, God. Oh, is that a metal dude? A robot? It's not, it's not a human, right? Oh, God. It's too awkward to squeeze in. This is not okay. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now. Is that it? Oh, crushed containers. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. I'd love to hear it. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Uh, well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they what behave the more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? More and more so. Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. 
I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necro evolution. I don't know where I'm going. I, 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 I just. What if I said I can't just stand there and talk all day. The same thing, but in different forms. When they need to move, they develop moving parts. The flies. Okay, let's go. I wonder if this is how we're supposed to get around that bubble back there. There was like a force field or something. Did you see that shit? Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. We just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is. I think it's, I think it's more leading me somewhere. Me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. <sighs> Get under the force field. Inside the field. Do you copy, sir? We're there. Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers. A powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. That so sounds awesome. Leave, you need to take down the force field. Am I going to take this vehicle? You know, the bot turning off the force field, then transporter departure. All clear. This is the force field here, I think. Uh, it's a good plan. Okay. All good and clear as the sky is blue. So we'll have Just to turn this this thing off. Sideways. Turn off the force field and take the transporter. around here somewhere just as I thought the equipment's still active but everyone here is dead the field is no longer a problem all right cool let's get into the vehicle all that's left is to get the flies out of there this vehicle's awesome. I want one of these. It's like a cool ass uh, hovercraft. The hovering transporter. Ha 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 ha. I'm a douchebag. The fucking hovercraft. Check the cargo with the flies and take the tra tracing port. There's a spelling mistake. Check the cargo with the fly. Okay. Let's open this up. You wanna. Okay. Usually puts a hand on it. Ah, all good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Uh, yes, yep, what are you it. wondering about? Take the containers with the. Uh, yeah, flies? sure. I got lost oh, there it is. There because of the flies. Yeah, you'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. The hell's all this? Oh, weird. Wow. Like flying ninja stars. I must admit. They're attracted to each other. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? <laughs> what? How do I? If you were wondering, Simon. Oh my God! 
how large a group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Oh my god. I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I mean, I've. I mean, uh, you got me at the end. You got me. Okay. 